This is a message addressed to the Federation of United Planets who are in control of planet Earth. I am a Pleiadian starseed and this is a call out for your responsibility in the planetary game. First of all I want to say that I understand and I can understand your points of view although of course I am one individual in this current life I still have the resources of many many lifetimes different state of consciousness and different state of being combined with the on ground ground level experience of a human being. Those techniques have maybe worked for you in the past, but I demand to stop it now. And I will give you reasons for that. Your mentality and way of influence and manipulation is generally based on pure logic. Nothing wrong with logic, but it has to be combined with emotional intelligence and the understanding of the race you are in charge of. But because you think you own the planet. It's like government. governments think they own the people and they own the land, which is hilarious. It's not truth. Because of this reason, you are not qualified to lead a race that is based on emotions. I advise you to step aside and let those councils, individuals and civilizations who are based on emotions and have a direct relation and connection to the human race come to the forefront and take the lead. The most important goal for the human evolution is emotional intelligence. I understand also that a lot of the suffering and the nightmares are, that are in the world are created by human consciousness. And yes, we must deal with it. But manipulation, secrets, lies are not a good example for us. You can see it in every child. It doesn't matter what the parents tell them that is right or what the parents want for the children. It's what they see the parents are doing, how they are behaving, and how they are treating themselves. Maybe this is disrespectful, but I have to say my truth. I feel in your way of dealing with the human race, there is a lack inside of you. Probably there is arrogance, probably you feel that your way is right because you are old and that's fine, but it has to be combined with young people, new ideas, emotional intelligence. 
I am someone who remembers various past lives, various different states of being and involvement in the cosmos, mostly in the non-physical realms. And I'm young. In my opinion, how long you live doesn't matter. Matters is what you experience within those lives and how you implement that in your morals and in your ethics. That's why I'm very, very thankful for the Take It and team that have brought authenticity, truth and perspective to us. For humans, the most important thing are relationships. The relationship to themselves, with themselves, and the relationship to others. But because we have such a complicated, not complex in a positive way, but unnecessary, unnecessary complicated systems, laws, and customs, and corruption, in place. It is almost impossible for us to change something without, without compromising our morals or hurting others. Not all of us do this and some of us have success with that. But it still comes down to emotional intelligence. We need systems that support us, and we need truth. From this point in time, there needs to be a change. It is already happening. The corruption and evilness in the world that we took a part in creating are revealing themselves to us. And I know it's going to take a couple of generations to understand what's actually going on. But we don't even understand what happened 100, 150 years ago. We don't know our history, our story. How do you expect us to understand what is happening on a large scale? how powerful we are. One world order, one world religion, this concept is bullshit. This planet is diverse and every country, every group of people have their own state of consciousness. This is why it's not beneficial to centralize everything. It has already in the past 100, 150 years hurt us so much and took away our power. We are powerless in the face of governments and laws and corruption. And yes, a lot of us created it together with you. But it cannot be the goal to create a galactic society like others. We are unique because of our diversity in consciousness in culture, in the expression of creation, and we need to find our own way. We have the right 
to express ourselves on our own. Nobody earns. Nobody possesses a planet. Not a galactic federation, nor a government, nor a big corporation. This is a lie. This is an illusion. And it's gonna crumble. What I ask you to do is to support us in that. I know you consider yourself not good or bad. And that is also not the point I want to make here. I just wanted to make some things clear from ground level experience and from a starseed perspective and from a human perspective because down here nothing makes sense and I see the goodness and I see the brokenness in people because from the top down Nobody cares. It's about exploitation, control, manipulation. And that to me is extremely immature. Only if you lack something inside of yourself, you need to control others. And to enrich yourself with material things in power. That can be changed. And even if we make the step forward today to stop lying, stop hiding truths, there will be still a lot of work for us to do, just based on the generational trauma that the human race has went through the last thousands and thousands of years, and the things we have done to each other to animals, to the planet, there is still a lot of work to do and we can still have a spiritual evolution. Everything is exposing itself already. And yes, this pandemic has helped a lot with that. Like I said in the beginning, I, from a logical st standpoint, from a bigger picture, I see the results, but the suffering is not worth it. It will take much longer and it will be much harder for us all to awaken to our true selves and our place in the galaxy and in the universe. If we continue like that, it is not necessary and we, have, we deserve better. I see it in the younger generation, I see it in the children. The potential is there and it's already blooming. So I ask you, and in my power of a soul, I demand that those races, those members, those fractions of the Federation that are responsible for the way everything has been handled here on this planet, that those are stepping aside and letting those councils, those individuals who are related to humans, who are based on emotion and have the emotional intelligence and the expertise because of their evolution, let them come forward. Let them take the lead. And by that example, and that frequency field, we will be able to access on this planet. We will do the same. My name is Luba. I am a Pleiadian starseed. And I have spoken.